Well, CBS News has learned that the theft of thousands of gun parts and some guns from the ATF is now the subject of a nationwide investigation. ATF officials still do not know the full scope of the crime, but say the stolen weapons pose a risk to public safety. The guns and parts were supposed to be destroyed in a facility in West Virginia. Jeff Begase broke this story and joins us now from Washington. Jeff, good morning. Good morning. ATF officials say they have now recovered a significant number of stolen firearm parts and guns, but our sources are telling us there are many more left on the streets. And now lawmakers on Capitol Hill are demanding answers from the agency. They want to know when ATF leadership became aware of the theft of these weapons. Investigators believe the guns and gun parts were stolen from this ATF firearms disposal facility in Martinsburg, West Virginia. Philadelphia police recovered a stolen part from an agent's Glock handgun in early February. When ATF officials ran a trace on the item, they discovered it should have been destroyed at the Martinsburg facility, but it wasn't. Officials then launched a criminal investigation, determining that thousands of firearm parts, including guns and ammunition, had been stolen in what they believe was an inside job. The thefts raise questions about how the ATF secures weapons and ammunition that it's supposed to be destroying. Michael Sullivan is a former ATF director. Some confident ATF would say there was a failure in their process, a failure in their system. In a letter to the ATF deputy director, senators on the Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Committee asked the agency to turn over information on the theft. Michigan Senator Gary Peters, the top Democrat on the committee, wrote the letter. There was a breach. Uh, these uh, parts uh, were able to get out and to be sold, and that's something that we can never tolerate. One arrest has been made so far in this investigation. Police arrested a contractor who worked at that facility after finding a stolen pistol in his car. For now, security has been stepped up at the West Virginia facility, and access in and out of the building is being controlled. Gail. All right, thank you, Jeff.